Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Are you the Bob we're looking for? Or was that the Bob we just left? Because I have seen signs for Bob everywhere. Bob this, Bob that, and uh, spiritually trying to break down. What does Bob mean? Bougie boy, Odin. I mean, I. What did the letters mean? Bob just walked through the door. Now I know what the heck Bob is. It was great to see Bob. He's a big uh, Beatles fan, and we were very excited to see him and get to hang out with Bob for a while as he came into the shop. And, uh, I mean, that's kind of how our shop's been rolling lately, you know? People come by, we say hi, and it's great to uh, meet everyone, isn't it? It is, it is. And we never quite know what they are here for. We never quite know what is going to come out of the conversation. No. And we were talking earlier about love reading and how love comes into your life, and here comes Bob. Right. And we had to ask the question, are you the Bob I'm looking for? Are you the Bob we've been looking for? Well, we had talked about energetic dating, we had talked about many a thing, and you know, one of the things that we've been doing is looking for signs. Hmm? And this photo, or what would be a photo, popped up. Yes, it's, it's been an interesting morning. It has. So we were setting up the shop when Esmeralda pulled on uh, out one of these things to display a photo. And this is just the stock photo on the inside. And as you can see, it tore. And it was wet and crinkled. And it had truly been kind of a disaster, right? It had. And then I was looking at this, and I said, my gosh, this is its own reading, for you can see the way the water damaged the photo, mm -hmm. that what used to be the wake of water behind them now almost looks like a waterfall, and it looks like they're plummeting into God knows what sort of abyss behind them. Looks like Jaws is in the water, too. Right, and they are torn here, and torn here, and torn right in her abdomen, and at her knee, and good golly, so it just, I mean, this poor fella here, I don't know what is happening with his foot, but clearly it is not good. So, yes, but it makes you think of momentum, you know, the knees are gone, the ankle's gone, so whoever this represents right. is having a lot She's of trouble with them. ripped. Yes, perhaps they're being ripped apart, because that's what it seems like to me. There's a split between them. Right. And there's, they're having trouble moving forward. Well, and this fella, he's got the crack here at his eye. Almost like his face is coming off, like there's a mask or something that is coming off. Hmm. She's got this rip here in her soul, it feels like. And it does, it feels like they are not... They are not long for this relationship. No, not so much. Yeah. No. Yeah. And we had pulled cards yesterday. If you saw yesterday's video, there was three three cards that we pulled from the witching oracle deck, I believe it was, and those were not very positive either. So whatever this relationship is that we keep picking up on, mm. it is... He's cracking up, they're splitting up, and all the forward momentum is falling away and the boat is apparently sinking because <laughs> it is hysterical that this was in a plastic bag <laughs> in my truck for quite a while and here it is I will show you the backside it's soaked I don't know if you can see that on camera but it was all wet and when we tried to remove it that's when it truly gained all of its meaning yes and so Whoever's relationship this is, it is time to find a life preserver. <laughs> Get off this boat! Yes. Swim from the sharks! And find happiness elsewhere, I think, is what the... It is interesting for, you know, typically when you read a card and you're looking at it, mm -hmm. and this is where divination can come from so many different places. Right. But typically, the left side is your past. And then as you move left to right, mm -hmm. is your future. So if you look at her, she's like hanging on to him for dear life. She's got her arms wrapped around his neck. Mm -hmm. And holding on. And yet, and yet, she is being ripped away. And sitting here next to him is the flag of freedom. Yeah. 
I was going to say, that flag is there. So freedom could be theirs, but there's something... And the funny thing is, as you look in our camera here, you see the painting I've done in the background, the yellow and black one, of fear. Mm. So I almost feel like that is part of this now. And I, do you find it interesting, too, that the colors of fear are very reminiscent of the colors of the photo on top of it? Yeah. So you can see how the colors... But perhaps the only thing similar. that is keeping these two either apart or ripping them apart is fear. Mm. Interesting. Are you the Bob I'm looking for? Apparently. <laughs> so, uh... So, I don't know, whoever's relationship this is, if this resonates with you, there is freedom. Freedom to be had for probably the two of you. I think if you get over the fear of whatever is going on in your relationship, otherwise you're going to keep cracking up and you're both going in the water and it's probably only a matter of time. Yeah, it looks quite cavernous back there. Right? Yeah. Yes. Your boat's cracking up. Your relationship splitting or cracking up. It is time to find that life preserver. Find your freedom. Even the chair. There's a chunk missing right out of the chair. I see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Right? It, it certainly this, is. It was certainly worth giving you guys a, a reading on because it called out so much. So it did. Whatever your f personal fears are, relationship fears... Uh, emotion. I mean, there's some kind of fear thing going on here, I almost feel like, and it's causing them to crack up. Perhaps it is a fear of being alone. Oh, uh, well, it yes. It could be a fear of being alone. It could be, oh my, I had a fellow once tell me, I will keep her until somebody better comes along. Which is no way to do it. <laughs> it, it is, is no way to do it. If you... <laughs> In between, we'll go over this really quickly. <laughs> in between relationships, no matter how you've cracked up, split up, gone your separate ways, you need time energetically to become the new you. To integrate what happens before you move on and meet that special someone. If you go right out and meet that next person at the bar that next night, next week, even next month sometimes, you haven't healed your energies are calling in this person still or that person the clingy i want you i will keep you forever yes and so you're going to get the exact same relationship with a new face yeah with a new face but it's going to be the same thing the same problems the same cycle same moon cycles mm. pick out something new give yourself time to heal and when Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright is ready for you, the universe will present them. But if you force it, you're going back in the water again. Yes. Different face, different name, different place. Same player. Same right. Yeah, you, you're, it's same basically like a video game. You're putting in a different avatar skin, but it's the same person playing against you. Ah, and maybe that is why his face is cracking here, oh. which is a mask. Yeah. So it does not matter that he is a new person. He no. is the same person with a different mask. Yeah. So, Bob needs to <laughs> heal. <laughs> Bob <laughs> needs to figure out who he is after Mary left. Right after Mary. So, whoever is feeling this, if you're watching this video and this video was calling to you and you're in this relationship, take some time to heal. Maybe your relationship needs time to heal. Perhaps. Right? The current path you're on clearly isn't a positive one. Find some freedom. Find some healing time for yourself, for each other. Mm. Right? Yes. And if it's time to be done, it's time to be done. Don't immediately go like, well, I'm just going to move. Well, I'm going to go cheat and find that next person. I mean, that's always a wrong move because that's how you're getting the same person again. Mm -hmm. And you're yes. starting your, your, your relationship off with he or she's a cheater. Hmm. You know, How is that going to end well? That. Yeah. Oh, it's all. It's not going to end well. My thoughts are, if they're cheating with you, they'll cheat on you. Zing it out. So, on that note... On that note. Find yourself someone really nice, or find, just enjoy your freedom. 
let the split happen if that's what it's to be. Find your freedom, heal yourself, and then the universe will give you that right person. Yes. Right? One that is energetically aligned with who you are now, yes. your new self, for you don't even know who your new self is. Right? Right? And you don't want somebody who's just clean, who's yes. like, oh, I must have you. Oh, God. Ah, I will not let you go. I will not let you go. I can't blame you. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I am quite smitten with you. Perhaps you are the Bob I am looking for. I am that Bob. I'm the right Bob. He could be the right Bob. But, yes. At yeah. least for me. Right? And, you know, the funny thing is, because of this coming up, it makes me think that we are doing a little dating thing here now. So if you are near the Emerald Frog in Port Tuxet on Broad Street, come by, and we're going to help people find their right special someone energetically. Mm -hmm. So that is what the plan is. Yes. And if you feel like you'd like to find that special someone for the holidays, you never know. You know, you can try us, or you can end up in the water. <laughs> it could be like a, your very own Hallmark movie, like, here's my date for Christmas dinner. Right? Yes. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody who you are in energetic alignment with. Yes. Rather than some riffraff that you just pick up off the street and That's decide. Right. Or online. I mean, you cannot feel it when you, when you try. I mean, I've been there, done it. But learning experience, online dating is great if, until you get to meet the person then their energies are different, their persona is different, their images don't match what their images were online. And it's because their energy <laughs> has changed. Even if they were completely honest about Here's my latest photo. When you meet them in public, it may not be the same energy or the same thing. Well, it is just, you know, it is one of those things where energy does not necessarily come through the screen. No, no. Unless it's mine, and you think I'm handsome and amazing, and so is Asmarill. Because well, yes. then, then you're well, then getting we are. it. You're getting it. You're doing good there. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yes, I think we've all met somebody either online or mm. chatted through text and all of a sudden they're in real life and you're like, ooh, what, I don't what, know. What just happened there? Epic fail. So, if you would like to try something new, something on the little spiritual side to find that right special someone, yes, stop by and we will do our best to help you. Indeed. All right. Until then, have a blessed day. Have a good one.